and Morty, give me a beat. Oh man, okay, all right, um. The kids, it's your girl Kenna Doll, and we'll be back with another video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos with your girl. As y'all can tell by the title, we're doing a black wig with a pink skirt strap. So, you know what? We're just gonna get into the packaging and everything that I got. The hair that I'm using is from Kiss Love Hair. I'm not sponsored, but I am gonna be telling y'all about everything. So, this is what they come in the D4. I mean, D4. DHL, that's who they're shipped by, whatever. So you're gonna get your bag with lots of goodies in here. Oh, not my light cut off. I turned my light off. Y'all, I've ordered from them. This is probably like my second time ordering from them. And then the ginger hair, that was actually from them too, but that hair was a gift. I did not buy that hair. But y'all. What hair company y'all know? Sending y'all a full blown hot comb. I mean, I already have one. Cause I have a black one, an all black one, but they sent me a freaking, I, mm, I ain't never seen no other hair company send a, a hot comb like right? But yeah, so I basically come with that. That's basically the bag that'll, that you'll get your hair in. So basically when you're done making your wig or if you order wigs, they have wigs on there too. But basically, I just order my bundles. So you'll get your bundles in the bag. My three bundles. And you'll get a frontal, which I got a frontal if you get your, if you get a frontal or if you get wig or if you get bundles and a closure, you know, they have all that good stuff. So y'all can just go check them out. But again, I'm not sponsored, but I'm telling y'all, so if y'all want to try some new hair, because their hair is really good. And then it came with this. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you spell. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But yeah, so that's basically everything that comes in your bag. So you get a hot comb, your hair that you purchased, and that little sparkly thing. When I first started buying hair from them, you only used to really get a hair, like the little hair clips that have like the little things on them, and you'll get some lashes. So y'all know y'all know what kind of lashes i'm talking about but yeah so basically this is all we got right here this is what we're working with we have we have an 18 um inch frontal with the 20 22 and 24 inch bundles i did want this to not be too long i tried long hair with that ginger hair that was 30 inches long and um i don't think long hair is for me but Got a hot comb. Thank y'all. But yeah, so that's basically our intro, guys. I just wanted to show y'all what you get, what comes in it, and everything like that. So we're gonna get into slaying this hair like I always do. And yeah, again, this is a watch me slay. So y'all already know during my watch me slays, I don't really talk too much. It's most likely a voiceover, and even during the voiceover, I don't talk that much in it. Anyway, so. We're gonna get into slaying this hair. Um, we're definitely doing the whole, well, y'all finna see. So come on, we're gonna get into slaying this hair. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to become a Barbie can if you haven't already. And let's get to it. It is covered up in foil. I've already went ahead and bleached. I mean, put the bleach on the knots. Um, it's face down right now. So it can get all of that goodness. Um, I just put it like this, so they're not um, brightened yet. I'm trying to let y'all see, they're not bright. They're brightening up a little bit, but not yet all the way. So yeah, we're leaving that like that. So now it's time to color this hair. I'm gonna go ahead and watercolor this hair. I'm gonna be using this dye. Everything that I use in this video will be in the description box below in case you guys wanna check it out, including all of the hair details, all of that good stuff. So if you like anything or would like to try out anything from this video, check the description box. 
But yeah, so I'm going ahead mixing that color into that water. I'm going to let each bundle sit in this water for 10 minutes. And then when we're moving on to the next step, I will be back. So I went ahead and sectioned out my skunk stripe. This video does have a little bit of trial and error, but I don't mind because at least it gets to show that you don't get everything perfect or right on the first try. Sometimes you just got to go in and try it another time and get it right the second time or the third time or maybe even the fifth time, child. You never know. But yeah, so I'm just going in what I thought was going to be my skunk stripe and just go ahead and paint that BW2 bleach in 40 volume onto this hair let it bleach and i'm gonna show y'all why this was a trial and error in a second So this is how the bleaching came out. It got pretty light and I was happy with it because I didn't have to get it extremely blonde for it to take a pink color. So I stopped it at this part or whatnot. But now I'm just going to go in with this pink blush dye, which was only supposed to have been the, you know, the rest of the hair color. Because I was going for a dark pink root and then another pink, which I actually went to go buy a light pink. But... Y'all are going to see in a minute why the light pink did not work out and I end up having to make my own little concoction and, you know, do what I had to do for this wig to come out how I pictured it, how I wanted it to look. So now it's time to go ahead and rinse this color off. I'm not sure what happened to the footage of me painting on that light pink. But as y'all can see, and if you can't see, just pause the video real quick so you can see. But I didn't feel like that light pink was giving me full coverage like the top was. It was giving like hot pink at the roots and yellowish, brownish pink. I don't even know what to call that color. But I was not happy with it. I wasn't hype about it. So I'm going to make my own little mixture or whatnot. And y'all going to see how I end up fixing this hair so that it was exactly what I wanted. Also, quick little tip, if you feel like it takes forever for your wigs to dry or whatnot, like you feel like it takes a day or two and you have to let it air dry, I'm telling you, go pick up some microfiber towels and I promise you, you will never have to let your hair air dry or wait for your wigs to dry. Like these things are heaven sent, literally hit them with that microfiber towel and you'll really be able to blow your hair out the same day and your wig will be dry. I promise you. Quick little tip though, if you didn't know.
Okay, y'all, so this is what I was talking about when I said I thought this was just gonna be my skunk strike. <laughs> no, ma'am. Like, y'all finna see me comb it out. I was not happy with it at all. It literally looked like I just took a couple strands and dyed them pink. Like, I don't even, mm -mm. look at this, y'all. A mess. <laughs> That's exactly what that is, a mess. I was happy with the little side piece on the side. It looked good, but this, mm-mm, no ma'am. So you know your girl had to go back in, pull out a couple more pieces, and bleach them things quick, fast, and in a hurry. And while that does what it does in marinade, I'm gonna be taking both of these little Adora dyes. Again, all of the dye and everything that I used in this video will be in the description box. So go ahead and check them out if you would like to purchase or see anything or try anything out for the first time if you haven't. It's in the description box. But look, I know y'all just heard my teeth whistle. <laughs> if you didn't, don't worry about it. But I'm going in with this jet black, going ahead and add that to the pink blush that I already used on the hair, mix it up, give it what it needs to do. The hair is done bleaching, so now we're gonna go ahead, paint that dye on over all of the hair, the regular pink blush, and then we're gonna go back in and hit the roots with the dye that we just made. I went ahead and let this color sit for 15 minutes, then rinsed it and went in and put the dye on the roots. So this is how the hair came out. Do y'all see that shadow root though? Gorgeous. But I did this roller wand set. This is how it came out. Wasn't happy about it or hype. So I went ahead and switched those curls out for some pin curls. Y'all are finna see in a second. And I loved it. It looked amazing. It was beautiful. That's what I wanted. And it looked good. And if it don't look good, let me know what don't look good about it. Because we like constructive criticism over here. If I can better myself, then that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to become a Barbie or a Ken. I promise you're going to love it over here. And yeah, I love y'all. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.